Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another travel video. So today we are doing two back-to-back -back cruises. We had to get up super early this morning at like six. So I have not done my makeup, it doesn't matter. But we're in Dover and everybody is getting off the boat from the first cruise and on the boat for the second cruise. Which means that for right now, the only people on the Carnival Pride, which is the ship I'm on, are the 249 people doing back-to-back -back sailings. So, before everybody gets on with the new sailing, thought I'd walk around, give you a little tour of the ship, since it is probably the emptiest it's going to be for the entire 21 days we are sailing on the Carnival Pride. So, at the moment, you may recognize this area. This is the Serenity Deck. So this is the adults only area, it's over 21. I like to come back here because it's at the back of the ship and it gives you really great views and it's very quiet for filming some of these intros. You can see the white cliffs of Dover in the back. There are plenty of loungers, little egg things to sit in. If you come all the way over here, well, here you go. Here's all the people waiting to get on the ship. So they are, are getting in the lines or the queues, of course, as the English people would say. There's the White Cliffs. Now back in Serenity, there is the Serenity Bar. There is the pool and the hot tub. In the middle here. Now this is open from, I believe, eight to eight. So they're just getting ready to open for the day. It is a pretty nice area but definitely should be open later. It's a little strange. So there's three pools on the Pride and the two kiddie pools are open much later than the adult pool. So then if we go up these stairs real quick, we have all the, the fun up top. So this is where the water slide is, where the up, upper promenade is. It's very noisy. There's the whale tail. <coughs> you see the ocean as far as the eye can see. And there is all of the Serenity Deck. All right, back downstairs. very hard to hold the camera still while you're walking downstairs so sorry y'all all right so the strangest part about this ship is that most of the doors are automatic but not on the pride on the pride you actually have to touch these little keypads so now we come in to the main Lido restaurant. So this is where you can get food 24 seven. There's always pizza. There's always usually sandwiches. Um, and then they open a couple times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So everybody on the ship right now is just back to backers. People going on to do the next nine days. Pete's Place. Coffee bar, usually open in the morning. We've got continental breakfast, so things like danishes and croissants. And then over here, they just closed it. That's where you can get your hot breakfast, so. Pancakes. Bacon, sausage. There's all of our coffee juices, water, that is all that's included. If you want soda or uh, other, other drinks that's extra. Wow, oh, here's some more of the White Cliffs, another ship. Let's see how uh, ornate everything is. More of those White Cliffs out there. 
can see the little tender boat down there. Let's keep on going, we'll go outside. So now if we go straight, we'll go outside to the other pool deck, Guy's Burgers, and the Mexican restaurant. If you come this way, you find the middle elevators for the whole ship, including the glass elevators. Da -da -da -da. You can see all the way up to the top. This is all restaurants, this is all tables for eating. And if you look down, there is the main bar and the main lounge all the way down on deck two, where you check in after you board the ship. So here's the main elevators. There's mom. Say hi, mom. Hello. Hi, mom. Mom's going back to the room. She doesn't want to help film the ship. I was talking to some people that we know. That is the nice part about the Pride. It is not the biggest ship, but it's not the smallest, but you seem to uh, meet a lot of people. A lot of the same people on this ship as opposed to some of the... I met to the people that are doing four back-to-backs. Oh. There you go. A lot of the smaller ships, or the bigger ships, I mean, you may not see the same people more than once. So, all right, so out here, we have ice cream on either side. We have Guy's Burgers. This is always the first place I come when I get on the ship for lunch. We have the best burgers on the ocean. And then we have one of the kiddie pools, I guess you would call it. It's open to all ages. And they have the bars on either side, the red frog and the blue iguana. You can see the pool is still closed for the day. And on the other side is the Blue Iguana Cantina, which is where you can get uh, bur burritos, breakfast burritos, or tacos for lunch. And if you keep going back, you will come to the, the third pool. Of course, the pools are rather small on a ship like this because they're so heavy. Water is ridiculously heavy. And they are evenly distributed over the ship. But here is the third pool, and this is the smoking area of the pool, of the upstairs so you're not allowed to smoke on your stateroom balconies not allowed to smoke on the ship cruise ships so flammable so you can only smoke in designated areas right now there is no smoking even up here because they just announced they are refueling the ship so no smoking anywhere when they're fueling the ship it takes a, a little bit and then you'll be allowed to smoke again Obviously, I don't smoke, but if you do, table tennis. So this is the front of the ship, and you can see there is a promenade all the way around the front here. You can walk, see the ocean. There's also, right in these doors, the front elevator. So we're gonna have to hit the little button. These little automatic door buttons are so confusing when you're used to just automatic doors. I 
literally saw a lady like trying to pry the doors open with her hands the other day. So it's closed right now, but through here and there on the other side is the spa. So if you want to go to the spa, come all the way to the front of the ship. And here are the normal elevators. They are still being used for luggage. So I'm going to take you back to the middle elevators. All right, so let's go down to two, which is the main level. So when you first come on the ship, you will come through the main lobby. So, down on two, we have the casino, Bonsai, which is the sushi restaurant. These are the main doors that people will come through. They are closed right now. We've got a bit of a lobby. Bar here is usually open, it's not. And you can see right up here, this is where the Pixels Gallery is. So if you take any photos while you're on the ship, when you're getting off the ship, I'll put some examples that they've taken for us. You will find all of those right up here, but they are $17 a piece. So, you know, we we'll usually get one, maybe two a cruise. guest services if you need any help and the carnival adventure staff which is the uh <coughs> people you go to for excursions so if you want to swim with a dolphin or see the vatican in italy they will help you we usually do a mix we do a mix of either carnival excursions or Viator Excursions, which is a third-party website. We've used them for years. The problem is, if you book an excursion through Carnival, then you are guaranteed that they will take you where you're supposed to go, and they will get you back on time. If you go with a third-party people, like we're going to Giverney two days from now with a Viator group, if they don't get you back on time, ship will leave without you. Google Peer Runners. But uh, we've never had that problem. It's a little bit more of an issue when you're going with just uh, random people. Viator is a very trusted company. We have never had an issue with them. We love their tours. So, of course, all of the tours on Viator are hosted by third people that they trust. So, the casino is empty. This video is not sponsored by Aviator. We have spent all our own money on their tours, FYI. Once again, I'm speaking, and this is the very last and final call. All remaining guests still on board are to proceed at the sign to the game with that three midship to disembark the vessel. Once again, uh, we must clear the ship within the next uh, four or five minutes time. So all remaining guests, please proceed at the sign to the game with that three midship. This is the last and final call. Thank you. Last call for everyone to get off who isn't supposed to be here this is the casino it is empty 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 because of course the casino cannot function when we're in port it only runs when you are in open waters so port days especially days like today that's embarkation day casino is closed up tighter than a drum this is where we like to come at night to get our diet pepsis from the casino bar and uh Duck hunt. If you guys aren't fans of the cruising ducks, mom and I love looking for ducks. So, you come through the casino. At one end, you will find the Taj Mahal, which is the main theater, and at the other end, you will find Normandy, which is the main restaurant. So, I believe we are going towards the Taj Mahal right now, but we'll find out. 
got little computers. If you don't have your own computer, you can use these. And then there's a whole area to hang out. Start coming to some of the little bars and clubs and things. Pretty staircases. I filmed the, I think the intro to the Helsinki video, this right there. You can get milkshakes here and fancy coffee. I only care about milkshakes. Then we've got the card room. Usually this is a library. I love the library because I can go in there and work. They don't have a library on this ship. And here we go. So this is the Taj Mahal. Let me get a quick view for y'all. Obviously, usually these doors are open, so we're not going to stay in here long. But this is where they do all their shows at night. Put some clips in here for you. And it has two more floors upstairs. But uh, you can also take the stairs here up two floors. Or if you go down two floors, you come to the punchliner, which is where they do all their comedy shows. All right, so that is the entire front of the boat. So you can see right here, we are right here, Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal, Butterflies, which is the punchliner, is downstairs. And then if you're on deck three, the Sunset Garden is a promenade that takes you all the way around the front of the ship, and it goes to Camp Ocean and Circle Sea, which are the kids' clubs. So let's go up to three, and we'll walk all the way back to Normandy, which is the main restaurant where you eat. And that will be pretty much the whole ship. So let's take the elevators up to three so that y'all don't get seasick on the stairs. Ready? Deck three. You can see the stairs are huge. Here is outside promenade so people are going to start coming on the ship we have the warehouse which is the arcade we'll go through there in a minute but Taj Mahal here is the sunset boulevard the promenade around the front of the ship this place like mom and I didn't even find it till yesterday all the way around. But there are people relaxing and reading in there, so I'm not going to disturb them. So let's go in here real quick. So when you come on a ship, of course, you get your ship card. I'm almost platinum. But your ship card is tied to uh, whatever credit card you put on it. And if you bring children and you do not put restrictions on their account, your children have access to your credit card. And on the last cruise, one poor mama did not realize that until her son brought her back $78 worth of ducks from the Plucky Ducky. So, yeah. Here are the stairs that we saw downstairs. We come out of the warehouse. This connects to the Taj Mahal. Now you can see security. And you can see right over here, the gangway. So all our new friends from Dover are going to be coming up this way momentarily so let's 
finish up this tour before they show up. <laughs> There's a little bar in there. And then, run into the shops. So the shops are also not open when you're in port. Like the casino, they are only open when you're at sea. And that is so that they don't have to abide by any of the taxation, duty-free laws like other stores on land. So, got the cherry on top. Children can also spend quite a bit of money in this store if you don't limit them. I, I don't know what my mom would have done if I, as a child, had spent $78 on ducks, but I promise you it wouldn't have been good. We've got the jewelry store. looking for a specific display, but it must be further up. This store is perfume and jewelry. All of your carnival necessities. If your bag gets lost on the airplane, they will give you a certain amount of freedom to get some carnival swag to wear. One of the ladies on our last tour had that exact problem, so she was repping the carnival swag hard. Okay, this is, this is the display I was looking for. So on our last ship um, in the Caribbean, Mom and I got one of these little carnival bracelets, and it's just the the anchor, the sun, the ship, the Caribbean islands. They don't have most of them out here. I'll show you. They have special ones just for the British islands that mom and I just got last night. So the little double-decker bus, little horse for um, Sweden, all kinds of just British terms and uh, other places in the Baltic Sea since that was the cruise we just did. So I'll do a video specifically about those. But in the meantime, we are now in the middle elevators. If you keep on coming, another gangway. Our friends from Dover. And the second cruise we're doing is nine days and it's going from Dover to Rome. So the ship is actually repositioning. All summer it's been docked here in Dover and now it's going to be docked in Rome. So that means instead of doing the same itinerary twice, we're doing two itineraries. Here's the main lobby. And you can see now we are up on the third floor that I pointed out where the Pixels Gallery is. So right now, all the little areas are closed, but once they start taking pictures, these open and they display all the photos that you could possibly want to spend your money on. Getting close to the restaurant. Don't know if it'll be open. We'll see. So right here is the Normandy restaurant. You can see that it is closed right now as there's nothing to be eating at the moment. 
from this restaurant. There's always food up on Lido. So I will, uh, I will insert some footage from later when the dining room's open right now. Oh, somebody found a duck. Somebody not us found a duck. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so that's just about everything on the ship. Now I will put some footage at the very end. Oh, look! Get you a sneak peek in here. is the, the upper level. What I showed you a second ago was downstairs, the, the main level. But I'm gonna take you out here. i show you the, ooh, the view from the balcony. It's beautiful out here. And of course the view changes depending on where you are. But today we are in Dover. You can see the White Cliffs. Right behind the Celebrity Apex, you can see part of the Dover Castle. Dover Castle. Mom and I are trying to decide if we want to go all the way up there or not. They said it's a 25 minute walk from the ship to the castle. Mom does not believe them. She thinks it's got to be at least an hour. I don't know. We'll probably get a taxi if we decide to go and then walk back down. So, all right. That is everything on the Carnival Pride besides all the different staterooms, which of course I'm not going to break into to show you the differences. I will put a clip right now to show you our stateroom. It is also interesting because as you can see, the light boats, lifeboats are right up here. So right behind the lifeboats are where our room is. So when I show you out that window in our cabin, this is what's outside our cabin. So I hope you liked this little tour of the boat. I hope this helped you envision if you were thinking about going on a cruise, what it might be like for you. Um, the Pride is a pretty small ship, but it is it is definitely not the smallest. We've been on ships like the Fascination, which are much smaller. So I really like this class of ship. I like that. Literally, like we were walking around Sweden the other day in Gothenburg, and we're just running into people left and right that we've known for a week, that we've been talking to, that we're sharing meals with. And when you're on the larger ships like the Horizon and the Mardi Gras, which I do like, you don't have that kind of sense of, familiarity sometimes you see people you spend a whole day with them and you never see them again so I like that aspect of it if you are looking for something new and fun and exciting to do every day on the ship ships like the Mardi Gras are going to be more your speed ships like the pride that are cruising around Europe the ship is not necessarily the main attraction it is an attraction you're in it for the ports I hope you guys like this video. I will see you in the next one. Tomorrow we are going to Le Havre. We have a Viator tour booked to go to Givernay and Rouen. So I am very excited. I think that is the one excursion I am most excited about. So can't wait to bring y'all along. Bye. We're on the ship by our cabin. We're in 4139 for the next 21 days. Yes, and so mom is a crazy crazy cruiser which they also call platinum so she gets her keys right away when she gets on i'm, platinum. I'm almost platinum i'll be platinum 
after maybe on this next cruise on our next cruise yeah all right so let's go and we're gonna check out the room before we junk it up we do try not to junk it up but let's be honest it will after 21 days everything's junked up <laughs> oh it is nice so we've got a little couch that'll be good for working on and we've got both our beds. We've got an entire shrimp mirror. Hey y'all. Sure. And then let's see, usually there is, yep, a mini fridge in here. So this is where you put your Diet Coke. Of course we don't have any. We don't have any since we're in Europe. Of course you've got your closets. And the smallest bathroom in the world is always one on a cruise ship or in a camper. <laughs> and a safe. Yes. So if we're going into town or something, we sometimes will put our important stuff in there. And let's check out these windows. This is the best thing about these rooms. Yes. They are so good. And we have a teeny tiny little view right here. Right there. Bring it back there so we can show them all the windows. A teeny tiny little view. So we're not actually going to see anything. That's okay. We weren't ever planning to see anything. But when you're in a small room, in an interior, degrees, this is a lot of natural light. Where yes. at least we can we'll be able to see the ocean. Yeah. Through this bar right here. Yes. And, uh, and it's a lot of natural light instead of being in a dark box. Yes. But the main point is that and the room is bigger. Because of the blocked view, the rate is the same as an interior. We don't pay any more for these. And the room is bigger. We get a couch instead yes. of the standard interior. Regular so interiors don't. Mom knows all the ever have any to get couches. the best rates for each room. So we are going to go up to Lido, I think, and get some lunch because it's 1230. Yes. We'll be hungry. And we'll see. I may give y'all a tour of the ship later today, or we may wait till tonight. I'm not sure. Okay. All right, let's go.